Hello everybody, this is Shobit. So guys, today we will talk about New Relic and in New Relic we have APM which is called Application Performance Management. So in this video we will talk about how we can integrate this application performance management using our .NET application. So guys, if you if you new for New Relic, you can do one thing, you can register yourself into the newrelic.com and uh, once you register yourself you will see some sort of page so here in this you have we have around everything related to the performance management so we will talk about APM in this video so for this APM you have to click over there and once you click over there you will see we have a service new relic docker which is configured right i'll show you uh, how i have configured but if you want to configure using this new relic documentation you can follow the step i already followed the step but somehow you know i was not able to run the application i was not able to integrate my application using this step so that's why i am creating this video so uh, firstly i'll go through the steps which new relic has mentioned so here we have a uh, lots of options suppose if your application is net just click over there and uh, it will it will guide you how you can configure using uh, using docker or whatever the options you have so i was working on an application i have a docker image so i want to configure through docker so i followed this step but somehow you know it was not working for me so i tweak some steps so i'll show you what i did so you can take help from this but if you are stepping somewhere you can follow what i'm just gonna share with you okay so let me quickly open the visual studio in the visual studio what i have i have an application i call this application is a new relic docker this is a application where i have some pages index error whatever some pages is there and uh, i have configured new relic in this so the main thing is how basically new relic works so here in this application i have configured a new relic agent and this new relic agent is set with my docker container inside my docker container and it will track the performance of my application right so uh, for that purpose i need some changes in the docker file i'll show you what i did so uh, here step by steps i'll show you so this is basically most most of this file is generated by the visual studio but i have changed some images the base images so here in this we have changed some images this is the image which i am using and uh, i am exposing this port number 80 and also for the build purpose i am using this image don't worry i'll share this code over the github you can take references from there okay so that's the basic uh, .NET docker file we have it was most of, most of the part was automatically generated by the visual studio but uh, i have added few things over here so this is the basic main things which i have added so from the base images right so this is the base images i am calling this image as a base image yeah, from this page email I'm creating a I'm calling as a new relic and inside this new relic I am just setting some environment variables right so these are some variables you have to define so the values of this you can get by the documentation of the new relic the one thing you have to modify is this is the new relic license key right I'll show you from where you can extract this key in the later so that's something you have to specify as per your application and over here you can specify the name of the application right so this these are the some environment variable you have con you need to configure and after that you have to install the new relic agent inside your docker container so that's the steps so these steps uh, that's the commands uh, basically i have modified some commands uh, as per my convenience so you can if you are facing some issue you can use this command it will work surely 
and finally in the new relic i will call as a final command and after that i'm just pushing whatever i have inside the publish folder into there <coughs> and dot net i'll just executing my dot net with the new relic docker dot dll so these are the some basic changes i did in the docker file apart from that i have also put this environment variable inside my inside my application settings so here if you see i have specified this environment variables over here also so these are the some changes you need to, to configure and uh, related regarding the regarding the license key i'll show you from where you can get so for the license you need to click on this icon over here we have an api key so here in the api key section you can uh, you can use in just license or whatever you have right so make sure you will use the license key over here because license key is used for you know apm so make sure you are you use the correct key so in my case we have this two key this license key right and uh, once you do that you know i'll show you how it's look like in the new relic so once you execute your application with the help of docker then after maybe one minute uh, if, if you accessing your application you will see something over here in the APM so here the new relic docker is there right so if you click over there you will see all the endpoints whatever the you know what's going on in your application this is talk about the web transactions and it will give you an app dex score also there are lots of things you can you can see the error rate you can see the throughput of the endpoints and you can see the transactions over there in the application so basically it will it will access everything related to your performance of your application so, so that's something you can do and regarding how you can you can run this so i am using basically visual studio so here you don't need to do anything you just need to click on release and and here i have specified the docker so once you do that it will automatically create a image from this docker file and uh, will start a container for you right if you want to to run this through the command line then then in that case you need a docker build command so that you can create image using this docker file and once you have image you can create a container right so uh, that's the another step but uh, since i'm using the visual studio so there is a handy way to execute this thing i hope this might be helpful i will share this uh, code base to you uh, in with the help of github and uh, why i'm sharing is because most of the i spent around two days to configure this and uh, as per the new rail documentation it was not working so that's why i did some command change over here so after that it is working for me so i hope if you are stuck in the same problem you can take help from this video or uh, the github repository which i'm gonna share thank you guys that's all i have if in future if you want how we can showcase this complete end to end with the help of a live demo then definitely i'll create a video on that thanks for watching this video if you like my work please subscribe my channel thank you